Imagination Station, a trip for me and you. Imagination Station, our ticket gives a clue. Look, the train is coming, it's almost here. Imagination Station, everybody cheer. Imagination Station, who knows what we will see? Imagination Station, jump aboard and follow me. Going on a mystery train to who knows where Imagination Station I can't wait to see you there Good morning my friends, welcome back to Imagination Station It's Kirsty here and it's time for our Friday session which means we get to see all of your brilliant ideas from our live on Thursday brought to life I can't wait to see all of your ideas mixed up into one brilliant story. Let's get started by singing a very special song. Can you remember all of the words? Let's see if we can sing it together. Imagination Station, a trip for me and you. Imagination Station, our ticket gives a clue. Look, the train is coming, it's almost here. Imagination Station, everybody cheer. Imagination Station, who knows what we will see. Imagination Station, jump aboard and follow me. We're going on a mystery train to who knows where. Imagination Station, I can't wait to see you there. Now, as always, our ticket gives us a clue as to where the train is going. But where will we off to this week? Let's take a look at our ticket and see if we can remember. Here's our ticket. Let's look on the back. Ah, clue number one, a chicken, a scarecrow, hmm, any ideas? A tractor, where are we going? Of course, we were going to the farm. So, are you ready to step on board the train? Let's hold our tickets and make a wish. The train doors open with a swish. A ride on a train, oh, what a treat. Let's step aboard, big step everyone, and find our seat. On every seat there is a book, and here's our seat. Let's take a look. Let's see what our story was about yesterday in our live session. Shall we listen again to the beginning? Get cosy in your train seat then. Here comes this week's story. Summer was here and for Lola that meant one thing, she was off to stay with her grandma on the farm. This year Lola was allowed to bring her two best friends along, Manav and Sophia. The three friends watched excitedly out of the train window as they travelled out of the city. Are there animals on your grandma's farm? asked Sophia. There's loads, said Lola, and we have to help grandma look after them. And she has a field where she grows sweet corn and an orchard with the juiciest apples in the world. I can't wait, said Manav excitedly. At last they arrived. Come on, said Lola. She couldn't wait to see Grandma and to show her friends around the farm. The next few days were wonderful. On day one, they picked apples from the orchard and used them to make a delicious apple pie. On day two, they learnt how to harvest the sweet corn. On day three, they practised milking the cows. And on day four, they fed the leftover apples to the very muddy pigs. But on day five, things did not go so well. Lola and her grandma were out in the field preparing the ground for some new seeds. We've got a whole wheelbarrow full of seeds, said grandma, and I need to get them all planted today. Grandma pulled her rake through the mud, but it got stuck on a stone. She tugged the rake harder and suddenly lost her balance. She slipped forwards as the rake broke in two and landed with a splat in the mud. My ankle! cried Grandma. Manav! Sophia! called Lola. Help! 
I'll be okay, said Grandma, trying to stand and fell straight down again. Oh, maybe not. I think I might need to rest my ankle. But how will we get you back to the house, said Sophia. And what about the farm, said Manav. Grandma, who will look after the animals, said Lola. I was not happy with that story ending. Well, it ended at a really worrying moment. I was so glad that you guys were all here to come up with a story idea for the end. We definitely needed to flip this story around. Oh, shall we do our rhyme? Time to flip this story around and turn this problem upside down. I felt worried. It's just not fair. Got an idea? Ding! It's time to share. Well, luckily you did share your ideas. My goodness, you came up with a lot of different ideas and we thought we'd mix them all together. So let's watch our story ending and enjoy it together. Can you spot your idea in our ending? Here comes the end of our story. The kids had a great idea, the wheelbarrow. They wheeled grandma back towards the house in the wheelbarrow until the wheel fell off. Manav spotted a horse in the field next door and knew just what to do. They carefully lifted grandma onto the horse's back and led it back to the farmhouse. With grandma safely tucked up in bed and the doctor on the way, the kids went back into the farmyard to work out what to do next. Oh, there's so many animals to look after, said Lola. Oh, I just don't know where to start. Manav remembered seeing another farm next to grandma's. Let's head to the next door farm, said Sophia. And it was a good job they did. Farmer Joe gave them a list of all the things they needed to do on the farm that evening. Right, said Lola. Let's do it, team. Manav headed across the field to feed the horses. Sophia collected all of the eggs from the chickens and Lola made sure all the cows were safely back in the barn for the night. The next day, Farmer Joe showed the kids how to drive tractors. They had a brilliant time. Meanwhile, back at the farmhouse, the doctor visited Grandma, bandaged her ankle and gave her some medicine. The children's parents had arrived to make sure that Grandma had everything she needed. And before long, Grandma felt ready to be up and about again. The kids planned a special party to celebrate Grandma feeling better. With Grandma's favourite, cake and a cup of tea. It hadn't been the easiest summer, but the three friends were really proud of their teamwork. It had certainly been a summer they wouldn't forget. Wow, what a story ending. I definitely couldn't have come up with all those ideas without your help. You were brilliant. <laughs> well, the train should nearly be at the farm now. Hey, it's just like in the story. We're off to the farm today too. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I think the train's slowing down. Yeah, and I can see the fields. <gasps> There's a field of sweet corn, just like in the story. <gasps> Do you think there will be pigs and cows? Will there be chickens? Oh, I really want to feed the chickens and see if they've laid any eggs. <laughs> This is going to be brilliant. Come on, let's go and explore the farm. Maybe we should feed the chickens first. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to go and see the cows in the cow shed. Oh, no, but I, I did want to go out to the sweet corn field. Oh, what should we do first? Oh, guys, I don't know. There's so many things to do on the farm. I don't know what order to do them in. Oh, well, hang on. We could use our story. Well, yes, on day one... Well, what did the friends do on day one? Was that picking apples? Oh, was that milking the cow? Let's see if we can remind ourselves what happened in our story on all of the different days. On day one, they picked apples and made a yummy apple pie. On day two, they learnt how to harvest sweet corn. On day three, they practiced milking the cows. On day four, they fed the leftover apples to the pigs. On day five, Grandma fell in the mud and hurt her ankle. Right, I think I've got it. Why don't we add some actions to all the different activities that the children did on the farm? On day one, they picked the apples 
and made a yummy apple pie. Hmm, shall we do an action for that? I'm gonna do a big sniff. Because I can smell the apple pie cooking and then chomp a big slice. <laughs> Are you doing that too? Let's try together. On day one, That was great. We didn't even need to say the words. We could just do the action. On day one. <coughs> Got it. Right, now what was day two? Uh, on day two, the sweet corn. That was when they learned how to harvest the sweet corn. And the sweet corn, pl the sweet corn plant is huge. We're going to have to reach up high for this one. So on day two, reach as high as you can to grab that sweet corn. Right up on your tippy toes. Whoa, you're so tall. Pull the sweet corn right from the top. Ah, got it. <laughs> right, so we've got our day two action. On day two, stretch up. Got it. <laughs> well done. Right, now what happened on day three? Can you remember? Yeah, I think so too. They practiced milking the cow. Right, so let's get our big bucket and... You can do the noise too if you like. Did you milk the cow as well, like me? Brilliant. Right, we've got one, two, three days sorted. You remember all three? I'm going to have a little practice. You're going to join in. Okay, on day one. On day two. Got it. On day three. <laughs> Fantastic, that was great. Now, what about day four? Um, remember, it was something a bit smelly. <laughs> oh, yes, the pigs. They fed the leftover apples to the pigs. Right, I've got my apples. You're going to throw yours into the pigsty. Oh, it is smelly. I'm going to hold my nose for this bit. Ready? Plop! <laughs> Mine splattered in the mud. Oh, the pigs don't seem to mind. <laughs> they gobbled it up anyway. Shall we throw three apples in? Splat! And splat! And splat! <laughs> well, there's our action for day four. Right, shall we put them all together? Ready? On day one. On day two, got it. On day three, on day four, splat, splat, splat. <laughs> that was great. Then on day five, oh no. Do you remember? Yeah, on day five. That was when Grandma fell in the mud and really hurt her ankle. Hmm. Right, let's try and show what happened on day five. I'm going to wobble, wobble, and then splat into the mud. Make sure you've got enough space around you. Be careful you're landing on something soft. You might want to fall onto the sofa or a chair or a cushion on the floor. Are you ready? So Grandma was raking away. And then, whoop, snap, wibble, wobble, splat. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Ow, my ankle. Well done. Right, shall we try all five days? A little bit faster. You ready? Of course you are. You're brilliant at remembering. On day one. <sighs> On day two. Got it. On day three. On day four. Splat. 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 Pooey. On day five. Snap. Wibble. Wobble. Splat. Well done, everyone. Oh, I hope you didn't get too muddy. Oh. Did you just flick mud 
at me. <laughs> oh, guys, that's not fair. I know. Splat. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> I got you. Oh, not again. Oh, there's mud everywhere. Right, stop before we get even more muddy. <laughs> There were loads of different feelings in our story this week. Well, to start with, the children felt really excited because they were going to the farm. Can I see the face you make when you feel excited? Ah! <laughs> well done. Right, let's try another feeling. Well, when they got to the farm, hmm, they had loads and loads of jobs to do. I bet that was quite tiring. <sighs> Can you show me the face that you make when you feel tired? Oh, oh yeah, maybe that one too. Oh. Next, well, they felt a bit worried about Grandma. She'd fallen and really hurt her ankle. Yeah, I didn't like that bit in the story either. Shall we do a worried face? What happens to your face when you feel worried? I look down and... Sometimes I chew my lip and I might want to make myself feel a bit smaller if I'm worried. Yeah, oh, you look worried too. Oh, that's another big feeling, isn't it? And then when they had to learn how to drive the tractor, well, that was quite tricky. So they really had to concentrate. What happens to your face when you concentrate on something really hard? Hmm. Oh yeah, my, my eyebrows dropped down a bit too. Mm, and I sort of scrunched my nose up a bit. That's my concentrating face. Oh, well done. And then at the end of the story, when Grandma felt better and they had a big party, everyone felt amazing. <laughs> Can I see your face when you feel amazing? Ready? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was great. Shall we try going through all of those emotions again? Right, ready for a big feeling game. Show that you're excited. Show that you're tired. Show that you're worried. Show that you're happy. Oh, it has been such a busy day on the farm so far. What? Yeah, have you been busy too? I saw you out in the sheep field. That looked like hard work. Yeah, well, I've just been checking on the horses. They were hungry again. Oh, well, being a farmer is pretty tough. Hmm, but it's also quite good fun. And maybe we should celebrate how brilliant we've been today. Well, we were really great at being farmers. Well, let's celebrate with... Oh, what makes a good celebration? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking cake. <laughs> yeah, let's bake a big cake. Let's get ready to bake a cake. Right, I've got some butter in my mixing bowl. Have you got your bowl too? And you'll need a pretty big spoon as well to mix it all up. Right then, butter and then, aha. Sprinkle in the sugar, sprinkle, sprinkle. Crack the eggs, crack. <laughs> Then shake in the flour and mix it all up. Well, why don't we make this fun? Shall I stick some music on? Yeah, come on, let's bake a cake together. Time to sprinkle on the sugar. Get your sprinkly fingers ready. Are you sprinkling high? Or sprinkling low? <laughs> well done, up we go. And sprinkle low. <laughs> Do you think that's enough? Yeah, me too. Shall we crack some eggs? Got your egg, ready to tap. Tap, tap, tap. The egg goes splat. Tap, tap, tap. The egg goes splat. Tap, tap, tap. The egg goes splat. <laughs> well done. Right, time to add some flour, I think. Get your big bag of flour. Get ready to... Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake, shake, shake. <laughs> now let's get mixing. Ready? Mix, 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 mix. 
mix, 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 mix. Can you go faster? And faster, and faster! Whoa, you were like a mixing machine. <laughs> Our cake is ready to go into the oven. The cake smells amazing. I'm just gonna chop it up and I'll give you a slice to take home with you today. You did a good job baking that. Oh, it smells lovely. I'll wrap some up for you. Here you go, you can take it home. <laughs> I hope you enjoy munching it later. Oh, well, it's probably time for me to walk back to the train station now. Are you coming too? Thanks so much for coming to play today. I had a great time with you all. Will I see you again soon? I do hope so for more Imagination Station fun. Sounds like a good plan. Oh, and remember, you can do me a train picture window and share it with me and all our friends. You can download your train window template. It's in the link below this video. Just click where it says more and then get creating. You can create one of the story ideas from today or create a whole new story ending and make sure you share it in the Home Ed Facebook group. I can't wait to see them. And I'll see you all really soon for some more fun. Thanks for coming along to play. Bye bye.